I am having a slippery time trying to peel this papaya here, okay? As you can see, it's the golden flesh papaya, and the good thing is I'm gonna be saving all of these scraps here. See these little skins? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna save that and put that into my food recycler. If you guys don't know, you can get it. I think it's called Limo, Limo, Meal, and then uh, Nutrimix has food recyclers that basically grind and dehydrate all of your food scraps that can be used for compost. You can either use them for yourself or you can bag them. They uh, supply bags um, and then you can send them back to them and they send them to farmers. So it's basically, I think it's more healthy that way, okay? They're getting back to na like nature, natural type of way of doing things. So like say this food scraps here, we used to have livestock and people used to have their own gardens instead of going like to the grocery store. You would only go to the grocery for like certain things that you absolutely didn't have or like exotic things that didn't grow in your area, okay? So, you know, this normally, this scraps, this probably would have went out to the chicken coop. Chickens would have ate it. We would have ate the eggs, ate the chicken, have the bones, put the bones back into compost, and it goes around and around, and it's very healthy. It's more of a reciprocal relationship. Um, so this this is a good way if you're still, mo we're modernized, right? And you're like, I'm not really into all of that. You can still get you a food, um, what they call it, composter or recycler. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do right now. Let me get my, Cause I have mine on the timer and it's about to go and grind all my food up. And the thing is, it does take six hours. Okay, you don't want anything to touch it because it'd be quite hot. See these food scraps? I'm gonna show you how gross it is in here. Okay, we got old watermelon up in there, some papaya. Of course, I wipe everything down when I'm done putting the stuff in there. I have some um, peanut shells, which are very good. Some coffee grounds. So I might have some more. I don't drink coffee, but. Uh, my mom does so so coffee grounds. I do have tea bags the stuff that's inside the tea bags in there um, I think that's just about it. I don't get too crazy. Okay, yeah, let's get these coffee grounds. I have her put them in here So we're gonna add some coffee grounds for this as well All right Get that all up in there and so what that's gonna do is gonna grind it down to like a little powdery substance Okay, maybe a little grittier than that than powdery and I just sprinkle it right on top of my garden. Some take it and they mix it into the dirt, okay? Where my garden is already kind of established, you know, for the first round of the season, okay? But I just sprinkle it on top of my garden so when I get ready to start my other seedlings and then get to replanting everything or replanting or planting different type of crops, it's going to be even more nutrient dense very good for it and it's coming straight from my home with me and my children eat right back outside into our garden you guys have a wonderful day go get you a full recycler and peace